This week's episode comes from an email question. How do we create custom content images within FTK based on search results? Same way you create custom content images anywhere in FTK, but we're gonna use it in that workflow. Welcome to this week's episode of FTK Feature Focus. I'm Justin Tolman here at Xtero. And a couple things before we get started. First off, a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys to subscribe to the channel. That's still in effect. And then we put up a survey to see kind of how you're using forensic tools, what features, etc., to help us create some content and that sort of thing. And we promised a pass to FTK 101 to one of those people that filled out that. We have chosen that person and we'll be emailing them a code shortly for that. Thanks for participating in that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We will do things like that as often as we can to get your feedback and to also give back a little bit to you guys, of course. So thanks for that. Also, just as an FYI, we have a new podcast out. You can check it out on Google, Apple, or Spotify, FTK Over the Air. Link will be in the description as well so check that out for information about ftk about the forensic industry stuff around that really cool stuff uh we've got two episodes out right now and more on the way all right so let's jump into this episode and jump into ftk for creating custom content images based on your search results so here we are in ftk so what we're going to do is type in exif.image.make contains apple and we'll click add and we get 2,392 results. You could do this with a filter. We by default parse this information out into the columns. So you wouldn't need to search this this way, but you can. Anyway, so what we'll do is we'll click search now, include all files, click okay. We get our hits 2,392, expand that out. And we can see that they're all in graphics. Cool. So we have our 2,392 files listed here. We simply right click anywhere in the file list pane. We'll go up to export to image. We wanna do all listed in this case. You wouldn't have to, you could go through and check, determine which files you actually wanted to keep in. Um, but for this, we're just saying, okay, we ran a search. We're gonna just kick all those out to another thing to take a look. Somebody else wants to look at them. Uh, in some thing. So we'll say all listed items and click OK. Now we just go through and create an image as we would. The only difference here is I typically when creating any custom content image will turn off pre-calculate progress statistics. It's easy with full disk or logical images that are doing you know full disk or partitions. With this I just don't care about the added time of it scanning and determining what file size it needs to do. So I'll, I'll turn that off to save a bit of time, but you do for sure want to keep verify images after they're created. Always do that for that verification. Click add. You can input this information that you want, 81 or L01, either way, either format that you want. We support both. We'll kick this out to the desktop. Sure, you probably wouldn't. And we'll just call this um, Apple search results if I can type and you're good to go. Click OK and click start. Once it finishes, you can close this window. We can minimize FTK and see our image here on the desktop. Simple as that. It's ready to transfer, load into whatever you want, do with whatever you want. It's as simple as that. This is one way that you can create review sets if you're going to distribute the evidence around. Now, FTK Lab, FTK Central, has the ability to create these in a more fluid in case way. You can also use portable case, of course, but if you need to create separate sets and load them into different types of software or something like that, this is an easy way to do that based on your search results. Okay, just a quick video, but I hope it's something that you can use. Again, creating a custom content image outside of the search environment is the same way. Get your data, right click, export to image. It, you can do checked files, highlighted files, or all listed. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. We post every week, sometimes more than just once a week. So if you want updates like this, tune in, subscribe to get notified. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.